What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And in this video, I want to root the Samsung Galaxy S6 and do a tutorial on showing you how to do that. So I just was listening to Spotify. I have this by my bed and that's what I use it for. Or not my, by my bed, but my in my room in here. So let's go ahead and do this. You're going to need the Samsung drivers. If you do not have those, I will do my best to remember to link to those in the description. If I forget, please leave a comment. When I have time, I will go on there and add links to the drivers. You will know if the drivers are working because they'll be like a little common number. So let's go ahead and open up our web browser here and let's go to CF Auto Root. I will have a link to this in the description, of course. So once you're here, you're going to look for your model number. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get your model number. You go to your settings, you go to about device and you'll see your model number there. Mine is SMG920T. I believe the edge version is two five or something like that i don't know you'll just have to match them up and you'll also want to pay attention to your baseband version now if you've applied an update and your baseband version has changed don't freak out you can still try the older method either it will it will root your phone or it won't it won't be that big of a deal nothing should happen and i also want to make a disclaimer that these are modifications you're making to your device there is a rare slight chance that you could break your device if you mess something up or do something wrong and that is on you no one else can be held responsible for, no one else can be held responsible for your actions except you i'm not forcing you to make these changes or modifications to your device you are doing that on your own will just go ahead and throw that out there so now that that said we're going to go on here we're going to hit control f and we're going to find g920 uh t so there we go there it is and you'll see that the baseband is 0c9 or 009 or oc9 this is ocg so there was an update when i got the device so it doesn't match but it's still going to be fine we're going to go ahead and download this and it's going to put it in our downloads folder and then we're going to unzip it and we're going to root our galaxy s6 this is a very simple method and I, I think it's, it's if, if you haven't rooted a device before, this is by far one of the easiest ways to root stuff. All right, so it put this file in there, 0FLTETMO SMG920T. We're going to go ahead and use this program called 7-Zip. It's free. It's open source. It's awesome. We're going to go ahead and extract it. It's going to create a new folder. As you can see, I use this tool all the time for devices. So open it up. We're going to right click on, well, you don't have to necessarily run it as administrator, but if you're having trouble with it, go ahead and right click on it and hit run as administrator. I have UAC disabled, so everything gets admin privileges. All right, let's go ahead and plug our phone into the USB port. Try to use the USB 2.0 if possible. I know like my other laptop only has USB 3.0. You don't have an option. You can't really do it any other way. So we're gonna go ahead and power this thing off now and hit restart. And while it's restarting, we're going to hold volume down, home, and power. Some devices, you don't necessarily have to hit the home button, but I, as you can see, I did, and it worked fine. So we're going to go to volume up to continue. Also, this is going to void your warranty. This is going to trip Knox. There is, at the moment, not a way to reset that. You blow an internal e-fuse and there's no way to get that back or change that so this is a decision that you're making that's going to affect this phone for the rest of its life so just keep that in mind your warranty with samsung will be gone it will be gone <laughs> there's no getting it back so please keep that in mind before you continue if you do not continue with this then yours will say what mine says right now but screw it i don't like Knox. I like having root, I'm going to do this. So we're gonna plug our phone in, and it should, there we go, com and then a number. Doesn't matter what the number is, it just needs to say com. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And it's so, so simple. Hit PDA, go to that file, make sure you're doing, see, it was fixing to do the wrong one because I've ran this tool before. I need to go back to my downloads, and I need to go to that folder and make sure I'm opening the right one. So there we go. I've got the right one on. It's going to verify the MD5. It did successfully. We know that we're doing the SMG920T. 
So we, we have the right one. Let's go ahead and hit start. This is going to root our phone. And we will be able to remove Knox. And we will be able to, you know, <laughs> uh, own our device, basically. That's how I think of it. Something's not going right here. Let's go ahead and close that out. Let's unplug this. Plug it back in. All right, we'll try that again. See what happens if anything's different. All right, so for whatever reason, Odin 307 is not working. And shout out to Xenomax. I was watching his video, and in his video, he was using 3106. So we're going to go ahead and try that again with a different version of Odin. I went ahead and downloaded it. I'll have a link to that in the description. So we're going to go ahead and go to this file right here, the CF Auto root. And we're going to go ahead and take this one, and we're going to cut it. And we're going to go uh, to this Odin here, and we're going to paste it in here. So now I'm going to run this version of Odin, run as administrator. And then I'm going to go to AP, and I'm going to choose this file and open. Now let's go ahead and plug in the phone and see if Odin 310 does it any better than the other one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit start and see what happens. Oh, it's actually working this time. It wasn't working earlier. So you'll definitely need Odin 310 to get this to work. Don't know why the Odin that comes with CF Auto Root wasn't working. See, there we go. This is the screen you should see if Root was successful. Well, if yeah, you should see this screen if everything went fine, and then it'll reboot here in a second. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So the next time you reboot into Bootloader, you're going to see that your warranty is now void, and yeah, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it now. You, you've already went this far, but trust me, you won't regret it. Root, having root is awesome you can get rid of Knox. you can get rid of apps like instagram that are system apps you can get you can do anything you want you can install custom recovery which we will do at a later date you can install custom roms like signage mod if you want to you can i'm not i know people are going to comment why would you do that you lose your fingerprint scanner etc i'm just saying you can if you want to that's all i'm saying so we just did the video on how to set up the fingerprint scanner, and it works great. There should be a new app in our app drawer called Super SU right there. So first thing we're going to do is go to the Play Store, and we're going to check and see if that has updates. It does. We're going to go ahead and hit Update All, and we're also going to search for Super SU and download the Pro version. Oops, I didn't mean to deny that. <laughs> Super SU. Download the pro version. And anytime SuperSU has a update from the Play Store, you'll want to open the app up. And if it says your binary needs to be updated, hit continue and then choose normal. You'll want to choose normal. So we'll open up SuperSU here. Uh, no thanks. I don't even know what that was, to be honest with you. I have no clue. All right, so we'll open up SuperSU. I just rebooted it because the pro version wasn't reflecting it for me. There we go. I do have the pro version now. So what I recommend doing is unchecking reauthentication. It's just every time an app has an update, it's going to get very annoying and you're going to hate it. Uh, if you have Titanium Backup or if you want to use Titanium Backup, it's going to ask you to uncheck this box and you'll want to reboot after doing that. All right, cool. You're set up. Now you can download anything. Let's download an app called Root Checker. By the way, I am using a third-party keyboard called SwiftKey. Not sure what the heck that app is and why it's asking for root. We'll have to check into that. And then you can disable notifications for certain apps if you have the Pro version. So I'm going to download Root Checker Pro. I paid for that one. You can download the free version if you want to. I recommend downloading the one from Joey Krim. That is the one I recommend downloading. There's a lot of other ones. All right, so let's open up Root Checker Pro. Agree. Okay. And verify root. All right, see, it says grant super user permission. Let's go ahead and grant that. And it says congratulations, this device has root access. Very awesome. I'm honestly surprised that it didn't ask me to disable Knox. That's really weird. And for this one, I can go ahead and tell it to stop notifying me every time this one. I'll have to check into this one and I'll update the description 
So disable, no more notifications for that app. Don't know what that app is. Don't really want to go granting root access to just any app that asks for it. You'll want to have installed that app and you'll want to, you know, like Titania Backup, for example, you, you'll want to only give root access to apps that you trust, that you installed yourself. Because root access is, with great power comes great responsibility, basically. You can totally mess your phone up if you do not know what you're doing and you go installing whatever you want to install and clicking whatever you want to click on. So in Titanium Backup, grant use, super user, and then press OK whenever all this goes away. We do need to enable USB debugging. I forgot about that. Go to About Device. Go to the Build number and keep tapping on that. Now when you go back, you'll see an extra option called Developer Options. Just choose USB Debugging. Press OK. And you'll want to unplug whatever you had plugged in. And then you can plug it back in. It'll pop up a little screen saying, do you want to allow this device? I recommend hitting Always Allow. That way you don't have to press it every single time you plug your phone up. And if you want to make your animations a little bit faster, you can go ahead and do that here as well by setting everything 2.5. All right. Now Titanium Backup will have no issues and everything will work fine. Also, your backups are gonna go to your internal storage. If you want to use an external storage like this, you can plug it into the bottom here and we can tell Titanium Backup to look at the flash drive instead of the internal storage all right, as you can see in our USB storage device here, this little Kingston one, we can go ahead and go back to menu, preferences, and then backup folder location right down here. And we can choose detect, whole device, and it will find USB drive A, use current folder. When you go back, uh, you'll want to hit reload application. And there we go. We can start backing up and restoring stuff to this little guy right here instead of the internal storage. So now we can uninstall these red apps that we don't want. Like, say, for example, Instagram. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Instagram. All right, you're going to notice it is a system app. We can go ahead and long press on it. And we can convert it to a user app. So now we can use an app such as Greenify to greenify Instagram and we can uninstall Instagram completely if we want to. It still says it's red, so I'm not sure why that is. But as you can see, we have a old backup here and we can restore just the data to that. We can restore the older app. It's really freaking awesome. All of this is happening from this little guy right here. And when we're done backing up and restoring stuff, we can just go ahead and press on that. Remove this little drive here and be on our way. All of our backups aren't using our internal storage. They're being stored on these little SD card readers that I did a video on recently. If this video helped you out, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. The like button's to the bottom right of the video player. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Galaxy S6 videos in the future. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay in touch with me, see what videos are coming out next and etc. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.